Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury, UK. And in this video clip I want to show you how we can very easily determine the acid-base ratio of a buffer. So let's uh, start with a simple example. Um, let's say we have a pKa of an acid and this is 4.8. 75, and the desired pH of our buffer is also, this should be 4.75. And we want to know what is the ratio of acid and base in this uh, buffer. So, to start with, uh, we write down the henderson hasselbalch equation, and we know that it gives a relationship between pH, pKa, and the uh, acid-base ra uh, ratio of a buffer. So pH equals pKa minus logarithm of the acid, and I abbreviate it like that, divided by the concentration of the base, and I abbreviate it like that. It is basically exactly the same. We can write it also in a slightly different format. We can say it is pKa plus log of, and this time it is the base on top, divided by the concentration of the acid. Both forms are absolutely equivalent, and uh, you can use whichever uh, equation you find easier to remember. Now, uh, we have been given a pKa of 4.75, so 4.75. We also know that our pH is 4.75. So we can write 4.75 equals 4.75 minus log, and this here is the ratio of acid. over base. And now we just simply have to calculate this ratio here. What is this ratio? And uh, what we can do is we bring this part here, this part here, to the right hand side of the equation and the pH basically we bring it uh, to the left hand side. And if we do that in the right way, we will get log of the acid over base equals, um, I write it down in general, pKa minus pH. And I'll probably write this on uh, the next page again, so that we can see it properly. So we said log acid over base equals pKa minus pH. We knew that this was 4.75 minus 4.75, so we just put in numbers, and that gives us 0. So, log acid over base gives 0. So, how do we find out what actually this ratio is? Well, in order to get rid of this log thingy here, we just simply take both sides 10 to the power of. So we have 10 to the power of log of acid over base equals 10 to the power of 0. We know that 10 to the power of 0 equals 1. And we know that 10 to the power and log uh, are the 
inverse mathematical operations, so we can just simply cancel that out, and we have concentration of acid over the concentration of the base equals 1. So this means that, or we can also write this as 1 over 1, and this basically means that we need one part acid and one part base to make this buffer. So one part acid, one part base, obviously it gives two parts, um, but if we have them in, ex in exactly the same concentrations, the acid and the base, then our buffer will have a pH of 4.75, given that the pKa is also 4.75. Now, this calculation was pretty straightforward. Now, what if our pKa and the pH are different. So here, for example, we again have the acid with a pKa of 4.75, but this time the desired buffer should have a pH of 3.75. And we want to know what is the acid-base ratio of this particular buffer. So again, we write down our Henderson-Hasselberg equation, pH equals pKa, minus log acid, and I abbreviate the acid again like that, over base. We can um, rearrange this equation, and we can say log A, log acid concentration over base concentration equals pKa minus pH. And now we've got the numbers for that. So we have 4.75 minus 3.75. And that, of course, gives us 1. So we have log of the acid concentration divided by the base concentration. And that gives us 1. Uh, so again, it's uh, pretty straightforward. All we need to do is really uh, take both sides 10 to the power of. So we've got 10 to the power of log acid over base equals 10 to the power of 1. And we know that this cancels out. So we've got left the acid concentration divided by the base concentration. So that is our acid-base ratio equals, and 10 to the power of 1, we know what this is. That is 10, or we can also write it 10 over 1. So this means we need 10 parts of acid. So 10 parts of acid plus 1 part of base to get this particular pH if we've given this pKa. In this last example here, um, we have again a pKa of 4.75. And our buffer now should have a pH of 5.23. And we, again, need to calculate the acid-base ratio of this buffer. So, as usual, we start off with the Henderson-Hasselberg equation. So, pH equals pKa minus log of the acid concentration divided by the base concentration. And we can very easily rearrange that. Uh, so we have log of the acid 
concentration divided by the base concentration equals pKa minus um, pH. Now we've got our numbers. pKa, we know this is 4.75 and the pH is 5.23. Uh, so this difference is equal to minus 0.48. So we know that log of our acid concentration over the base concentration equals minus 0 0.48. And now obviously we have a minus here, but uh, let's not worry too much about it because all we need to do in order to get rid of this log is take both sides 10 to the power of. So we've got 10 to the power of log of the acid concentration over the base concentration equals 10 to the power of minus 0 0.48. We know that 10 to the power and log cancel each other out. So we have here our acid over base concentration, our ratio, and this equals to 10 to the power of 0 0.48. And if we get our calculator out, then uh, this would be similar to 1 over 3. Or on a calculator, actually what the calculator gives us 0 0.33. But we can write this also as 1 over 3. That's uh, basically the same. So what does this say? It says we need one part acid, one part acid, plus three parts of base, and this will give us our, um, our buffer with a desired pH of 5.23. And of course, they together give make four parts. And that's just as a side note. So I hope this makes sense, and uh, thank you very much for watching it.